Hi everyone and welcome back to JL Tech. What I'm going to show you in this video is how you can move a borderless form. So you can see in this example, we can move this form around and it's, you know, it's got no border, it's just a panel and I'm going to show you how you can do so. So if this is what you are trying to achieve then stick around and watch this video. First and foremost I'm just going to add a quick button. This isn't part of the tutorial by the way and we'll just do form2.show. Right, okay. So, first things we want to do is we want to jump over to our new form, and obviously, this form border size style will be none to give us that non panel kind of look. And we're going to go ahead and add a panel, scroll down to dock, and put this to the top so it just hovers at the top. And just so it's easily recognizable, we'll change the color of this, you know, just so it stands out. Um, so, when we click and hold on this, it will um, act accordingly and let us um, move the form. So we'll double click the panel first and under public class we need to add two references. So this will be private property Oops. and then we're going to call it move form as boolean and then under that we'll go private property move form underscore mouse position as point. Okay, so we've added our references now. Obviously it's going to say zero references because we haven't coded this yet. So now what we'll do is we'll hit our panel and we need to add a few references. So click this little events tab here and scroll down to mouse. Now there's three we need to add. Those are mouse down, so just double click in here. It's going to add our code in. So for mouse down, the code we want to add is if e dot button equals mouse buttons dot left then move form equals true me dot cursor uh, equals cursors dot default and then move form underscore mouse position equals e dot location so that's mouse down sorted we'll now go back to the mouse options and we'll do mouse up and then we'll go if a dot button equals mouse buttons dot left then move form equals false me dot cursor equals cursors default and then finally we'll add a mouse move option which is this one so just double click and it will automatically put this section into your code for you super simple uh, for mouse move it's if move form then me dot location equals me dot location again plus open brackets e dot location minus move form underscore mouse position close brackets and that is pretty much it once you now save this and hit start And we'll hit this form one to show our new panel. You can see we can now move both forms around just as easily as that, just by adding, you know, three lines of code, no using no external plugins, and we can drag this around, you know, as we please. So that's it for this video, guys. If you did learn something from it, please do consider subscribing and leaving a like rating on this video. And until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.